Hello. In uh, today's video, we are going to explain about the um, CNC milling using the robot arm and how do we set it up using the visual programming. And today I am using the grasshopper inside Rhino 7. So we have built a library to control the robot arm inside this visual programming and the library is called depending on the brand of the robot you are using in my case because we are using the KUKA robot um, we have built a library to control this robot and the library is called KUKA and you can get this um, library from Food for Rhino so if I show you let me show you how to get the library if you go to food for rhino and then type KUKA PRC here you can find the KUKA uh, PRC you simply just download this uh, file and then you install it and then you restart your um, Rhino and then you will find it showing up in your library here Hopefully you already know how to use the grasshopper And if you want to get the latest Updates about this plugin you can visit their website Here in the robotics and architecture Association you can get a lot of resources here and some beginners tutorials so my tutorial is also beginner but it's a little bit simpler than what they have in their website so hopefully you guys can benefit a little bit more from it so just to show you how it runs as you can see here I can control the robot arm using the slider from the inside grasshopper as you can see here like from the beginning if you start the um, sliding it's gonna go down first and then start milling your surface and then once it finished it goes back to the home screen so we are gonna build this um, logic here so let's start with let's start a new file and then let's first first thing first you will, after you install the cookup PRC you should see this menu here so the main component we have here is the this one cookup PRC core that's what they call it cookup PRC core so it has it has some uh, let me show you the inputs. So the inputs are first we have the simulation let me display the uh, yeah, full names all right so first thing we have is the simulation slide and then we have this is where the sliders goes in and this is the command this is where your command goes to and that's the tool, the tool you want to use. For example, is it a CNC or is it a hot wire cutting? And then the, um, the robot arm you're going to use. And that's for collision check, which we are not going to use now. This is for more advanced kind of um, setting. And So let's start to feed one by one the um, these components. Let's feed them in. So we are going to start with the slider. Simply, this one we just need a number slider. So if you go here, we can see here this is the number slider. So if you just feed the number slider here, that's one done. And 
this is the first component. And the second component is the command. We are going to just leave this for now. Let's do the third component, which is the tool. What kind of tool I am using? So in my case, I have already built a custom tool, which is here. Tool mesh, tool nerve. So I have built my tool here. This is the tool I'm going to use for CNC mining. As you can see. And so you need to model your tool, the one you are going to use. You have to model it for you to connect to the robot. And then what you do is you position your tool exactly on the original point of the Rhino, like the 000 point. You have to install your tool directly here where the robot arm is going to uh, grip the tool. So for example, if you are using, let me show you one thing. So for you to place your tool here on the robot arm, you need to place it exactly on the canvas when you are modeling the tool. You have to place your tool exactly on the original point here. And then this um, component is going to automatically place this tool on the robot head. So you don't have to um, care about the position of the tool, the program itself is going to simulate this tool exactly there. So first thing you do is you need to import this tool into your into your canvas, into your uh, Grasshopper canvas. So my tool is Burep, but the Coca only um, imports mesh to the tool, so we need to create a mesh. So for me first, I need to insert. Oh, this is a group, so I need to insert multiple B-wraps. Now I have my tool inside here. Let me hide it from here. Now I have my tool in uh, B-wrap, and I need to convert it into mesh. So there is a B-wrap mesh here. B-wrap mesh. All right, and that's going to convert my tool into mesh. And then I need to union, for an union mesh, or something like that. Let me see in the mesh component I have for the utilities here. It's called mesh join. This is to join all of them and make it only one join. All right, now let me hide this and also hide this. And let me connect this to the tool. Huh. Same. Oh, wow, oh, okay, okay. So before we do that, we need to do something else. We need to use the custom tool from the Kuka. So if you go to. If you go to the virtual tools, you can see here custom tool. If you have built your own custom tool, you have to use these components to translate this tool into a Koka language. And if you already purchased the um, Koka robot tools, then you use these tools here. So in my case, I have a custom tool. So I can use either one of these two to convert my um, end effector into a Kuka language. So I can choose either of them. I usually prefer that one because I can control the uh, planes from inside the tool itself instead of importing the planes every time. So in my case, I will use this one and then I'm going to continue to the tool and then you have to set it up. So you have to give the tool a number.
So in my case, our CNC milling tool is always seven. And then you have to give it the position of the last point of your tool. So my end effector, the X, Y, Z coordinate of this point, I have already calculated. So the, I don't quite remember, but I have it here. The X is 317.790. And then the Z is 276.975. So now I have the tool set up and I give it the, 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 the coordinates of this point here, the last point of the tool. And then after you fit in the tool, now we need to fit in the robot. So the robot arm we have here, all of the brands of the robots. So in our case, we are using uh, this one here, this is the uh, robot we have in our place, KUKA KR30-60 HA robot. So we just connected here, now we have the robot, now the only thing remaining here is the command. So for you to place the command, first we need to tell the robot what kind of command we want to do. So what we want to do is we have the surface that we want to melt. And probably that's going to be for the next video. So let me pause here. So I don't make it too long. And let me stop it. So 